What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. iPhone rumors are starting to come fast and furious as they tend to do this time of year. Late last week I reported on some images that came out allegedly showing the next generation device from Apple. Those have since been proven fake. Actually the creator came out and said that he made them just to help promote his portfolio. However, in the past day, a new set of images have been put out, this time by Engadget. They feel pretty confident are the next generation iPhone, or at the very least, an early prototype of it. Uh, it's commonly being called the iPhone 4G, however, I do not believe that's going to be the final name. 4G can create a bit of customer confusion. It can also mean, well, firstly, the fourth generation of the device, which it certainly is, or it can also be confused with the wireless technology, so 3G the 3G network that AT&T had, meaning the third generation of wireless technology, or 4G can be confused with the fourth generation networks, the or LTE or WiMAX uh, that AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile are coming out with, or that Sprint is currently advertising. Uh, smart Money, I believe, would be on the iPhone HD, and I'll talk to you about the why in just a minute. As I'm talking, I'll show you these new images that sort of have come up recently. So let me give you a bit of history on these images. The day before the iPad was released, Engadget leaked some images. Uh, the first time we'd actually seen what was going to be the iPad. It looked like it was deep inside the coffers of Apple's headquarters. Uh, it was actually almost chained down to a table. But on top of what actually ended up becoming the iPad, was actually a picture of an iPhone, which people didn't really think of much at the time. However, upon further inspection, it actually looked to be new hardware that we hadn't seen yet. You could look, see a front-facing camera, and all you could see was a connect to iTunes a logo on the screen. Well, the new images that have come out tend to match very closely to what that image we saw a few months ago was. So let me go over some of the specs that Engadget are claiming that we're going to see from this new generation iPhone. Higher resolution, resolution screen, that seems to be a no-brainer. The screen on the resolution on the iPhone has been a bit disappointing, especially compared to newer devices like the upcoming Droid Incredible or the Nexus One. Uh, Front-facing camera is really the big thing that Engadget is claiming this device will have. And if you look very closely at the image that came out the day before the iPad launch, you can indeed see a front-facing camera, or at least what it looks to be a front-facing camera. We can only presume will be for iChat, or for uh, video conferencing, something that we have not yet seen sort of penetrate the U.S. market. They have it in other countries, but in the U.S. we just haven't seen it yet. Also, we're expecting a high-resolution camera, which is something that's, well, most people have been expecting, as well as an LED flash. Uh, Apple has not yet put a flash on their device. Certainly would be something that we could uh, very much welcome. Uh, and Gadget is also claiming this could feature up to an 80 gigabyte solid state drive. Uh, which seems just absolutely incredible uh, to think of in here. And also, allegedly, it's going to use the micro SIM technology, uh, which we're going to see in the iPad 3G. Essentially, all that is a typical SIM card cut down to be a bit smaller. The interesting point of discussion uh, the 3G iPad is actually unlocked, but does use an AT&T micro SIM. Kind of makes you wonder if the next generation iPhone with that micro SIM is also going to be sold unlocked, but with an AT&T micro SIM inside of it. Uh, perhaps that could be the first ushering of the iPhone on multiple carriers. We've been hearing Verizon rumors for quite some time. So what do you guys think about these new images? Do they look real or fake? Uh, it's hard to tell. It doesn't look like a, a finished Apple product if they are indeed real. Uh, perhaps an early prototype to demonstrate sort of how the hardware would function. Uh, but what do you guys think? I'd love to hear from you. Leave a text or video response. I'm getting very excited about the iPhone 4G or HD or whatever they're going to call it. Uh, looks like it's going to take a, a next step forward uh, for Apple and iPhone fans. Anyway guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.